everybody, I wanted to give you kind of a quick update on uh, how it's going and show you what I'm doing. Last I showed you a little bit of combat there, not a whole lot because I had to fix your collisions. Still haven't gotten to that. I wanted to do things right. I wanted to make it so you could equip weapons in your inventory before you do that. Still getting that sorted out a little bit. I have a little bit more to go before I start getting into collisions. But I did want to show you this stuff here. So um, this is my inventory here. Kind of simple. I might have like a pin feature so that you can leave it open while you're walking around, etc. Kind of like in Morrowind did. Uh, I really like that kind of stuff. Uh, very simple UI so far. Not too pretty, but that's a, the focus on later. Eventually it'll be resizable, scalable, etc. But uh, for now, this is it. I can walk up to items, pick them up, and see them in the inventory. If I drop it, puts it back in the world there. If I double click on it, let me just show you the, the command here so you know I'm not japing or anything. You can see it doesn't see anything down there. Uh, the bool switching is me pressing I to open and close it. You can ignore that for the most part. That was just some testing to make sure your inventory works as it's supposed to. So let's go ahead and open up our inventory. Here we go. Double clicking on the mana potion twice. That should say that I'm using the mana potion twice or it should output it there. You can see mana potion, mana potion. So it's working as intended. There is a weird bug with my inventory though. Uh, maybe I'll share that for some giggles in a few seconds here, but let me go pick up the pile of treasure. Let me go pick up the sword. You can see, you can move that stuff around, drop it back into the world. And the sword actually went flying. Let me grab that here. Da 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 da. And if I double click on the sword, voila! We have a working sword now. I have to work on the hit collision still a little bit for it, but to start with, I'm pretty happy. We're getting there. Uh, let's see if I can show you that bug here, because that bug is pretty funny, kind of. I'm not exactly sure how it happens, but if I go to the static mesh for this, this guy here, there we go, that's why it's not working. All right, we'll change that into a potion. Let's see if this works. Uh, it probably isn't going to work now, because it seems a little weird, but if I drop these, one of them should revert back to what it was before. Not doing that now, of course. Maybe if I change this to generic... Now it's going to mess with me. If not, oh well, I'll figure it out later. There, there's something with it, but I'm not entirely sure. So, bup up, bup up. Nope, everything's working. Okay, it, it just likes to mess with me whenever I update small things, like whatever it is. But hey, I just wanted to show you this. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that there. More to come. We're getting closer to combat. We're getting close to all that neat stuff. But I wanted to do this equip from inventory first and fix a few other things. I have a sword over here. You can see this is what it's doing for the hitbox here. I actually figured out a way to get the mesh to attach to it and resize itself appropriately. I still have to fix the positioning of it because I think the default axis on this weapon is in the center. That's why it's doing there. But uh, just wanted to give you that update. We're still working and still going. Uh, spread it around if you like it. Thanks.